Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. We have finally got the release of season 5 but before we do get into today's video make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 2000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can do it with your guys support. Make sure you drop another like as well. But at the start of every single season you guys know I always do this video. I've done it ever since season 1 or season... I didn't do it. No it's not season 0. Season 1. Since they implemented the battle pass I'm pretty sure that wasn't at launch. I can't even remember. There's so many cool and awesome things to cover in this season. Hopefully I'll cover it all. I really did slack off in season 4 but it's a new season let's do it we're gonna absolutely smash it get every single bit of content we possibly can out of this season but like always guys i'm gonna buy the battle pass i'm gonna match every single out we're gonna take a look at this thing see what's in it see what's cool see what's not cool and just you know just admire everything all the new guns everything else let's do it and as you can see i have completed the battle pass tier 100 day of launch straight away i'm gonna skip this celebration because i don't want you guys to actually see this Battle 5 pass, but five, but season 5 battle pass complete, don't want to spoil anything in there, so we're going straight into the analysis now, as you guys probably did just see what was last there, but we'll ignore that, starting off at the very first tier, so when you first buy the battle pass, we have the Bemoff, the new operator, he looks pretty cool, I'll be honest, very, very cool indeed, we have the Archangel Rodion skin, if that's how you pronounce that, standard skin, you know, I don't really switch up my skin very often, we have the Juggernaut Pack, which is, uh, I don't even know what this is. Uh, it's a vehicle track, so it's gonna, music's going to play whilst you're in the uh, car, whatever it may be. Uh, I don't actually have my headphones plugged in right now, because otherwise it'll mess up with the audio for the video. So, you guys have to listen to this for me. I can't actually uh, listen to this, so I have no idea what it sounds like. Hopefully it sounds pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much that. We have a Season 5 XP boost, obviously that's what we like to see. We have a free variant of the uh, LMG Bravo, what's that, it's the SA86, uh, so yeah, yeah, definitely is, so you know, pretty standard looking, nothing too special. We have the Unstoppable Force calling card, just very standard again. One hour double weapon XP, we have the Call Emblem, which is a pretty cool moving emblem. We have Old Sins, which is a combat knife variant. To me, that actually looks pretty cool, but then again, it's just a combat knife, you know. 100 cup points, one hour of double XP. We have the Black Eye Adder, which is the Golf AR, which is the Scar, I do believe it is. Or the, is that the Scar or the M13? I can't, I think that's the Scar. I'm going with the Scar on that one. Uh, so, pretty standard looking again. We have the Tarash Vehicle Skin, so everything is sort of bland right now, just blacked out, which is pretty boring. We have the Safeguard Otter Skin, uh, standard stuff again, looks pretty cool. We have a Sticker Point of Attack, which is all blacked out, like carbon fiber looking uh, as well. So, that seems to be the theme going off right now, which I'm not a big fan of. 100 card points, 1 out of the weapon XP, the Hoax Spray which is a guy looking through a door, obviously we've had it before with the character sprays which can confuse your enemies if you're stupid. We have a free weapon here which is what I'm most excited for called the ISO. Uh, in my opinion, to me, this looks more like the uh, Vector from like Modern Warfare 2 era uh, to me. Uh, that this I think this is more likely going to be the more like the vector than the Fennec was. I thought the Fennec was awful. Obviously, it's a precision crafted nine mm sub SMG uh, with a fast rate of fire. The lightweight and reliable firearm is designed to control the class range battlefield. So, to me, I think that's going to be an absolute beast. Only time will tell. I think it's going to be the vector more so than the Fennec. We will see with that one. So make sure you do smash that subscribe button. That's going to be that's going to be tomorrow's video, hundred percent. Um, bad company calling card, pretty standard, pretty cool at the same time. 100 card points, we have the Phantom Lin, uh, I don't even know what pistol this is, but it's a pistol, it's the uh, it's the uh, Renetti. Uh, pretty black, pretty standard looking, you know, it just looks like a regular gun, like there's nothing, no camo on it. Uh, we have the Shadow Company operators, there's, there's three there, I think, so I'm not going to go straight into them, you can sort of see them all there. Uh, Nevermore Operator Finishing Move, which is everybody seems to be really, really excited for. This is actually a uh, like a raven or something killing the enemy, which uh, to me is pretty cool. Doesn't make really any sense how birds gonna peck your eyes out and kill you. But anyway, we have the Fracas, which is the AX50 uh, sniper variant. I do believe is that or is that HDR? I that's the HDR, isn't it? That's that's the HDR. Very uh, just looks like a standard weapon, like there's nothing on it. 45 double XP, weapon XP, no, double XP, 100 cop points, the Crow Bro weapon charm, that looks pretty cool, 30 minutes of double weapon XP, we have the Siege Tower, which is a skin for the truck, very, very boring, uh, we have the Abdora 725 variant, which looks pretty cool, I guess, 
it does look pretty cool with a little hints of gold on there. We have the Yoshimi, which is like a anime uh, spray, pretty cool, I guess. Double XP token. We have the Lynx Domino skin. We have the AN94. I didn't even see this coming, man. This is another thing I'm really, really excited for. Obviously, the AN94 was originally added in Black Ops 2. We haven't seen it. Wait, we have seen it return in. I think we saw it in Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4. I might be wrong on that, correct me if I'm wrong. So obviously this is, you know, everyone knows A94, if you don't, it's just an AR, an absolute beast of an AR, should I say. And the first two rounds, uh, like increasing fire rate, so you, you have a standard fire rate and after the first two rounds, uh, like like the third, no, it's like every two shots this increase, so it's like, dun -dun, dun -dun. it's like weird, if you know what I mean. That was really weird of me trying to explain that. If you have to shoot it to know what I mean, uh, you can absolutely, if I tap in the trigger with this weapon, or in Black Ops 2 anyway, you could absolutely have a mad fire rate with this thing, it's an absolute beast. Uh, COD points, again, Death Note, uh, Watch, we have Company You Keep Calling Card, that one looks pretty cool, I'll be honest. We have the Tarpon uh, LMG uh, variant, I, think, I don't know what LMG that is, that is the Hoggler, I think, is that the Hoggler? I think that is the Hoggler, yes. 45 minutes to double weapon XP, we have a Master's Bidding um Emblem, animated emblem, looks pretty cool. We have the Gallows, which is an AUG org variant. I'm not going to look at that one. You can see it there. It's just black. Very, very boring. I'm not a big fan of this. We have the same thing for the quad bike, just a black skin. I mean, it looks like there's no skin on it almost. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's like a gun, a gun would regular look. Like you buy a gun from anywhere. That's how it looks. JTF21, uh, a Milsim sticker, so it's like Canadian. 100 cod points. We have the old Fuss and Feathers, which is a Deagle variant. That one looks pretty cool, I'll be honest. Um, one hour double weapon XP, double XP. School Brigade sticker, boring again. We have the F Fiorentino uh, Kilo variant here. And this one does actually look pretty cool, I'll be honest. That one does look cool, like an octopus on it. I think, and the sun and the bottom there, and the magazine. Yeah, that one definitely does look cool. Definitely up in the game now. Hopefully, we see some more brighter variants. 15 minutes of the weapon XP. We have the sham spray, which is like a window or something. A smashed window, is that? I don't even know. 100 cut points. We have the darkness reckons uh, calling card. Very simple, but very, very cool, in my opinion. We have the honcho Yigo skin. Now, this one looks stupid, but you, everybody is going to be using this skin. And it's gonna annoy me so much. I hated his skin without a top on, like he has no top on. Uh, it's uh, for some reason that operator just seems ten times more annoying to be killed by. I don't know what it is. We have the iridescent uh, Delta SMG. It's MG64, I think that one is. And this one does look very cool. It's got like an anodized look to it, like multicolored rainbows type thing, along with the black. Looks very, very nice. We have the Warlock, which is another like skeleton animated emblem. We've seen three of these now. 15 minutes of double XP. We have the hotspot uh, weapon charm, which is like a telescope, a sniper scope, or something. We have the black tie affair, which is the Kana EA uh, variant, which is just the standard black look again. It looks kind of clean on the car, just for the simple fact it's usually a brown gun. Uh, but yeah, maybe they look a lot better in game. I don't know. I have to see for myself. 100 cop points, 100 double weapon XP, uh, one hour double weapon XP, should I say? Drop anchor, we've seen a couple of stickers like this already, like a carbon fiber type look. We have the cool classic, which is a sniper rifle Charlie. What is that? Is that the, um, the AX50, I do believe? Yeah, that's the AX50. Looks pretty cool, pretty shiny. Uh, Pursuit Special, which is a Wyatt skin, looks pretty decent, I guess. We have four wins, which is like a compass on your watch. We have another kawaii like anime skin, oh hi. Um, very cool. Double XP token, we have the lens flare um, sort of uh, calling card, should I say, and I do actually really like that one, I like the little uh, glimmer like, should I say, the shine. We have the meltware, which is a blueprint for the, well, hang on, is this the M19? M19, yeah, that's the M19, very, very good pistol in my opinion. 100 cut points, we have the weakest link emblem, which is another skull chewing a chain. We have 100 double weapon XP, 30 minutes of double weapon XP, why do I keep saying 100, I don't even know. We have the Falling with Style weapon charm, we have the Chill Pill skin, which does look pretty cool actually this one. It's just like an everyday clothes if you will, I think, yeah it looks decent. We have the Black Cat which is a assault rifle hotel, that's an AK-47 variant. As you can see we've got a theme going on here, it's just black, uh, boring in my opinion, same with the sticker. 
one hour double weapon XP, uh, 100 cub points, same skin for like the Jeep as we've seen on the quad and things. Except this one actually has the uh, Season 5 logo at the front of it, if you can see that. Just, I only can just see that. The Catacombs, which is a LMG variant again, Echo, which is the... What LMG is it? That's the Hoggler, I'm pretty sure. Does not look like an LMG whatsoever. That looks like an AR. That might actually be pretty sick. Eyes on the target, calling card, pretty cool. 45 minutes of double weapon XP. Force of nature, which is a, a snake coming out of a skull's mouth. Pretty cool, I guess. Jackdaw talon skin. We have the Vizsla, which is a variant for the assault rifle of Julia. Which one is that? Which AR is that? Is that the Growl? I think that is the Growl. Yeah, that's the Growl. Pretty cool, like a proper camouflage, like actual camo. Cod points, uh, double XP again. We have the Lurch Forward, which is which is the new operator uh, weapon charm. Very, very cool. We have the Conduit uh, Blueprint for SMG India, which is, what is that? Is that the Fennec? That is the Fennec, I'm pretty sure. Is that the Fennec? I can't actually make my mind up. I don't remember the Fennec having a 30 round mag, if I'm being honest. Is that the Fennec? That's got to be the Fennec, 100% anyway. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. Red shiny, I don't really like the Fennec. I can't even make my mind up. Is that the Fennec? I have no actual idea, I need to check. That is my fault, completely confused. I knew the Fennec didn't have a 30 round mag. It is the new ISO, ISO, whatever you want to call it, SMG. So very, very, very cool on that front. Next up on the Battle Pass, we have the Skull Squad sticker, carbon fiber theme again. Double weapon XP for an hour. We have the fraud, which is another person coming out of a doorway trying to fool your enemies. Now this one does look cool. It's a shotgun. It's the um, I forget the name of this shotgun. I'm sure you know what name of the shotgun is because I can't remember. But that one does. It's probably the best looking one we've had so far. But I'll never ever use it sadly. Cut and run is the Iskra skin. 100 card points. We have in good company calling card, which does look pretty cool in my opinion. To be fair, we have the Black Sea watch, which is just a watch. Uh, the clutches of evil, which is another um, skeleton type emblem, uh, moving again. So that's the kind of theme we've got here: just blacked out weapons, blacked out vehicles, and skeleton. So maybe it's death. We have the Halcyon Days, which is SMG Golf, which I do believe is. The I'm pretty sure this is the UMP45 or the um, Striker 45. Very very cool looking. Actually, I really like the look of this one. Maybe I will actually try that one out in game. One hour of double XP. We have the Rose Fawn uh, Weapon Charm, which looks very very cool. Hundred cut points. We have a Rough Diamond sticker, as you can see, sort of similar to what we've had before. And for the tier 100, we have four items here. We have the Rook. Uh, operator skin these look very 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 cool I will actually give you any more in-depth look on these they've all blacked out like I don't know I feel like these are gonna be OP in warzone and multiplayer in dark areas of the map you're gonna struggle to see people with these skins on hundred hundred percent so these are gonna be some really really nice skins hundred uh, we have the, for another hundred rep I'm going to get my words out. For another 100 reward, we have the Assault Rifle Lima and a variant, which does have a shadowy trace of fire. Wow, what is this? What even gun is this? I actually can't figure this one out. But nonetheless, this one looks absolutely amazing. It has the blue eye out mags almost. Uh, just all over black in general with a little skull on the side there. You can see it sort of glisten a little bit. And it does have a trace of fire, so I'll definitely, definitely, definitely be doing a video on this. It's AN94. That's what it is. That's why I'm getting confused and figuring out these guns. Uh, it's the barrel is the AN94 Factory X. So that's going to be absolutely sick. A tracer AN94 straight off the bat. I'll take that any day. We have the Veil, Veil, whatever it is. The helicopter skin, all blacked out. You know, looks like a standard helicopter, maybe. And um, last but not least, we have the Season 5 emblem, which is animated, looking very, very, very cool indeed. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Season 5 Battle Pass. I like to go ahead and buy it all, so you guys don't have to if you don't want to. You can sort of see what's up for grabs. In my opinion, there's some very, very, very good things in this Battle Pass, but I don't think it's the best one we've ever had. I think maybe Season 3 or Season 2 was the best one we've had so far. Very, very boring weapon variants. Uh, apart from obviously the A94 and the ISO look very 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 good guns can't wait to try both of them out there's also so many new content added into season 5 so make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button I'll be covering it all over the next week or so you know every single day covering different pieces of content so make sure you do stay tuned so you don't miss out on them yeah apart from that guys if you did enjoy this video make sure you do smash that like button like I said before make sure you smash that subscribe button make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter links for them there in the description below but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope to catch you guys on the next one